Kyle, you've podiumed in all three of these. Why? why? I don't understand. What, what, are you like master of quarter mile tracks or something? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I wish I was better, uh, to tell you the truth. Uh, second, third, second kind of hurts. But, um, you know, just I don't know what it really is. You know, it's just uh, tight nature, tight bull ring kind of stuff. And the things we all grow up doing, you know, with uh, Legends cars, late models, all that. And, um, you know, always kind of enjoy getting back to those every once in a while whenever I can. Last year, I remember I went up to uh, – New Hampshire and, and ran a late model race at a tight, big quarter, small three eighths mile racetrack and um, finished second there too. So second stuff sucks. Lee Spencer, Sirius XM. Ryan, could you have ever imagined A, having to take a provisional and B, coming all the way from last to where you finished on the podium? Well, yeah, I mean, the plan was not to take a provisional. <laughs> it's just uh, you know, our group was pretty slow. I guess we just couldn't go. and. Um, yeah, so we're lucky we got in the race. And then, uh, you know, we did a good job all night, just kind of staying clean. And our car was fast, too, to kind of just drive up through the field. And a couple of restarts went our ways to where kind of our lanes went. And just um, had a shot. I got a terrible restart in the last one, but I probably wouldn't have won anyway. But, uh, yeah, coming from a long way back. So it's fun. I, I think every time I've been here, I've been spun backwards about two or three times. So it's nice not to have that uh, at the last one. So it's good. We'll come up front, and then we'll go back to Jeff. And this is going to be for all three of you since in the last three years you have raced the Clash of the Colosseum. So I just wanted to know if you had anything in particular that you like about racing here. I mean, I, I think it's interesting. Um, it certainly lends ourselves to a, a different demographic as well as a, you know, a different venue as well and being in a stadium like this. So uh, it kind of opens up the box a little bit on where else we can do uh, events like this. So I think that that's been a real test of whether or not, um, you know, we're capable at, at these types of tracks. So, um, you know, it always kind of turns into a little bit of calamity there. Uh, did a little bit there towards um, the end. You always kind of expect that. But uh, fortunately for us, we were on the okay end of it. Yeah, no, I agree with Kyle, right? It's a different demographic and, um, you know, the way they kind of pulled the trigger on today, you know, trying to get it in. And, and I think that was really smart by NASCAR. And maybe it doesn't show in the stands, right, just because of what it was. But uh, I think it's a lot of support. And then also have the NASCAR Mexico Series here, too, I think is as good as well to, to kind of grow their side. So, yeah, just a neat area to do it in. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'll just ditto uh, a lot of it. Um, yeah, I, I think it's very entertaining. Uh, sometimes it's real frustrating when you're out there because uh, it's, a, I mean, it's a tight boring and you got big cars and they're sliding around and especially on refires with old tires, you're sliding a lot, but it, uh, I know from rewatching races and sitting in the grandstands for one of the, uh, uh, LCQs last year, a couple years ago, it was like, this is really entertaining to watch. Um, becomes pretty crazy at the end, obviously. Uh, but you kind of see that. I think we were actually a little better than we were last year. We'll go to Jeff, then Daniel, then we'll go up to the press box. Yeah, for um, Kyle and Ryan, um, I guess since you were sort of closest to Denny uh, there on the on the final restart, what what was going through your head there? I mean, were you were you thinking about you know just knocking the crap out of him or anything like that, or um, why? Why it's Denny? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, take me through that, I guess. Um, yeah, I mean, I got a decent restart on the final one and then I got a pretty good one and two. He kept having issues of left front lockup and sliding off the bottom pretty bad. So I knew that that was going to open up the door, uh, for an opportunity. And I got to his side off the of middle of two, but I just, I never had any acceleration off the corners. I could not get my forward momentum started. Um, and so that was kind of my hindrance. And so as bad as he was on entry, I was as bad on exit, you know. But um, if we could have had, you know, three, four more laps or whatever, I felt like I, I would have had enough to be able to get close enough to uh, to make a move. But, um, you know, you're also – Blaney was really fat. He might have been better than I was, so I was probably going to have to play defense on him. So it was just going to have to see how it goes. But um, glad it ended when it did. <laughs> we'll go to Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Daniel McFadden, FriendStretch.com. I got, got two questions first. Uh, Ryan, did you, apparently you thought that Denny jumped the, the final restart? Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, by a few feet. I, I mean, and obviously he kicked my ass on the last restart, so I'm going to say he jumped. But I thought it was a few feet early. But, yeah, it didn't make, make a difference. Okay. All right. And, and this one, this second question, kind of going off of hers, if this was the last clash at the Coliseum, 
how would you guys sum up this three-year experiment in South California? I mean, I'd say it was a success. Yeah. Honestly, like, I think all three years has been received really well. And, yeah, okay, the racing side can get a lot of a lot of chaos at points, but I think everyone enjoys it. Like, the fans enjoy it, and it gets good coverage. I, I think it's, it's been a success. I, I don't see any negative sides to it, really. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was net positive. I said that the first year we came out here that uh, the old car would not have allowed for this type of track, but this car lends itself to having the opportunity to bump a little bit and not crush fenders and, and noses and tails and things like that. So, um, you know, overall, what happens from here? Where do we go? Who knows? But, um, you know, if, if we can find other venues that will put us in, uh, it would be pretty cool to do. Yeah, my, the experiment was a great success, and we proved that we can do it anywhere. Um, I said the first year we came here, I mean, it was a huge win for the sport. And, um, you know, now that, you know, we've raced in one of the most historic stadiums in, in the world, <laughs> it's pretty cool. So, uh, you know, I think you can pick this up and place it somewhere else if, if you needed to or something completely different. We've done crazier things at this point, right? It's dirt races, there's little small tracks like this, street races, you name it. We can do it. We'll go up to the press box. Any questions? Okay, we'll go in the back. Um, Rob Edelstein, TV Guide Magazine. I'm figuring that you've all seen the um, Netflix show. Just want to know, since these things are always so creatively edited, this is for like all three of you, how do you think you each came across and are you happy with it? I came across amazing. <laughs> I think I was the star of the show. So, how about you guys? I loved watching you in it. <laughs> right? <laughs> I loved it. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I thought it was, you know, I, I thought it was you know, pretty good and, and showed people a different perspective of, or gave people a different perspective of the, you know, the, the at-home life and then the pressures of the final 10 weeks of the year, you know, and, and the ups and downs and the positives and negatives, you know, the playoffs are pretty brutal, right? And I think it, 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 put a lot of emotion on where these teams and drivers are at, you know, and, and whether you're a diehard fan or a brand new fan, I think it uh, gives you something kind of neat to learn. Um, so yeah, it was, it was great. And obviously I could say I liked the ending cause the ending was great, but um, I thought they did a good job with it and Netflix. I, I thought they did and hopefully it keeps going. I wish they did it one year sooner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, of course he likes it <laughs> he won the championship and it's cool uh i had a hard time after the second uh, episode watching myself get knocked out of the playoffs again and at that point i i couldn't watch anymore <laughs> i couldn't handle it doing it again but uh i will say it was i mean it's a huge win for the sport for sure you know, when you see it there in the whatever top five or so in, on the netflix shows and how many households that that reaches uh, can only be good. Um, it seems like the response has been pretty positive. So um, really good, really good. Wish it was one year before. Uh, we'll go back to Jeff. You know, wa watching it from up high, it felt like, you know, I, I, I feel like it felt like the veteran guys like you guys were trying to walk the line of being aggressive and using the bumper, but not so that you're going to use up any you know, favors that you need later in the year, like for an exhibition race. But I felt like maybe some of the younger guys were um, a little more aggressive and may have gotten some little rivalries going. Um, is that in your mind as you're, you know, as you're making those moves, are you, are, are you trying to walk that line? Do you care? Is it, is it expected that you're going to get moved and have to bump people out of the way? I mean, you, you try, um, you know, I mean, you, I mean, the, the racing is usually an eye for an eye more times than not, um, or trying to come out with, you know, with some explanation of what happened and mistakes are mistakes. And, um, uh, I mean, here obviously lens for a lot of things and I've been on both ends of it. Um, I, it's got, Ky I got Kyle last year, so <laughs> is <laughs> I still owe him. Yeah, he does. <laughs> uh, but that's, uh, I mean, it's part of racing here and you, you try not to, right. Cause you know, yeah, there's bigger races down the line, but you, sometimes you're in a bad spot and you just make a mistake. That can happen too. Yeah, or or there's just flat out aggressive and doing that type stuff. And I don't know. Sam said you guys are flying home tonight, so it's kind of too too rough with each other. Been an awkward flight home, huh? Could have. 
We'll play cards and laugh Just all the way home. Just Joey will laugh the whole way home. You what? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I didn't hear. <laughs> um, no, you I mean, guys there, play back. There, were, there was a couple moments there. Like, I was running with, um, with Truex, and he was behind the t- – I think he was behind you, and he was holding up the lane, the line, and then – he kind of got a little bit of separation and then Truex kind of was holding me up a little bit. And I got a couple good runs off of the corner to make up a, just, and then bombed him and, you know, tried to do it early enough on the straightaway that then he was like, okay, it's happening, you know, and uh, just <laughs> concede the position. But, um, so it d- depends on who you're running with. I mean, a lot of those guys don't, uh, they probably haven't learned any respect over the years in the series is that they race and it's kind of found its way to our series, unfortunately, um, on times. Okay, we'll take one final question in the back. Brian Twining, Bedsports Media Group. Um, just kind of knowing how aggressively people drive here, do you try to prepare for this race by intrinsically telling yourself not That's to That's a big upset? word. I don't think we know what that word means. <laughs> <laughs> do you try to convince your, yourselves not to get too upset <laughs> when, when people yeah. bump and bang you? Dumb that down. Um, <laughs> None of us went to college, man. <laughs> <laughs> I would say, yes, you, you kind of come in here with the right mindset. I mean, you do your homework and you do your study and stuff like that. If you watch the races from the years before, you know, you see that it's a little bit like that. So you just have to be mindful that it's going to happen and, you know, not lose your cool and not have your helmet fly off um, and just, you know, keep working and repay the favor if needed.